Today we're going to take a look at using macro reverse rings to turn any adapted lens into a macro lens. Hey everyone, Sean here with photodeox.com and today we're taking a look at our macro reverse rings. These are rings that are designed to mount an adapted lens backwards, reverse mounted on your camera. And by doing this, you can turn almost any lens into a macro lens. Now we carry macro reverse rings for pretty much every mirrorless and a lot of DSLR camera mount systems, and they're pretty easy to use. You're just going to buy the macro reverse ring for your camera that you're using. In this case, we're using a Canon EOS R. So we're going to use our EOS R macro reverse ring. And then we just need to know what the thread size is of the lens that we want to reverse mount. In this case, we're not going to be using a Canon R lens. Uh, we're actually going to be using in this video a vintage Automamiya Secor 55 millimeter M42 lens. This is a beautiful little vintage lens. And that's one of the nice things about macro reverse rings. You can use them on any lens. You just need to know the filter thread size. In this case, this filter thread size is 55 millimeters. So all we have to do to mount this lens on this camera is to get our macro reverse ring for EOS R that is a 55 millimeter thread. First, you're going to find the front of the ring, the front that is threaded, and you're going to take your lens, you're going to take the front of the lens, and you're going to press the front of the lens against the reverse ring, line up those filter threads, and then you're just going to screw the reverse ring onto the front of the lens. Make sure it is tight. There we go. Now we've got the reverse ring mounted to the lens. Next up, we're going to find the red mounting dot on the reverse ring and line it up with the mounting dot on our Canon EOS R camera. Press it into the camera and rotate it to lock it into place. There we go. Now we've got this vintage 55 millimeter lens reverse mounted to our Canon EOS R camera, and we are ready to shoot macro. Now using a Photodeox macro reverse ring is probably the easiest way to turn almost any lens into a macro lens. By reverse mounting the lens onto the camera, we're taking the optics the way they're supposed to be, we're flipping them backwards, and most lenses will actually give you macro focus when you do this. Now with this specific 55 millimeter Mamiya Secor lens, we're able to focus on subjects a couple inches away from the lens and we can create some pretty beautiful macro photos. Here are some of the photos I captured with this setup. And as you can see, this lens, which doesn't really have much of a macro focus, is suddenly able to focus much closer up on different subjects and create beautiful macro photos. Now there is one thing to consider when you are reverse mounting a lens like this, and that is you really don't want to mess up the rear optic of your lens. This rear optic is not really supposed to be exposed to the elements. It's designed to be mounted into the body of a camera. Now, one way to protect this front element is actually to use an adapter. This is our M42 to Canon EOS R adapter. And by mounting this on the front of this lens, well, actually on the back of it, but on the front of it in this setup, we're actually creating a bit of a lens hood, a bit of protection for that rear element. And now we can, you know, point this at nature, bring this out, shoot, and we don't have to worry about the rear element of the reverse mounted lens getting scratched. Now you don't have to use this setup, but it is useful for some lenses, especially this lens that has the rear element of the lens very exposed, adding a little bit of an extra adapter in this case to the front protects the element and makes it a lot safer to use for macro photography. Now here are a couple things to consider when you're using a macro reverse ring. The first one is you will not be able to focus to infinity. When you have the lens rear mounted, it will only macro focus. You'll only be able to focus close up. And if you want to shoot a normal shot, you will have to flip the lens back to its normal setup. Uh, you'd have to front mount it like it's supposed to be mounted to focus uh, to infinity. In reverse mount, you really can only do macro focusing. A second thing to consider is the difference between reverse mounting a lens for macro photography versus using a macro extension tube. 
This is a Canon EOS R macro extension tube. And if we added this extension tube between the lens and the camera, we'd also be able to macro focus but you will notice in this demo image, we have sharp edges. It's a macro focus photo, but everything is very sharp on the edges of the frame. Now let's compare that to this second demo shot, which is using the reverse macro ring. And as you can see with this shot, we have softer edges. And that has to do with the optics of the lens. When we're reverse mounting the lens, we are getting sharpness in the center, but because the optics are backwards from what they should be, we are getting some softness on the edges. Now, this is really just a matter of taste. If you want a sharp macro photo where everything on the edges of the frame are in focus, you're definitely gonna wanna use something like a macro extension tube. But if you don't mind the soft edges, if you are looking for a more dreamy look, if it doesn't really bother you to have those soft edges, or maybe if you like that look, then using a macro reverse ring is going to be the tool for you. Okay, that was a quick look at our Photo Deox macro reverse rings. Now, like I said at the beginning of the video, we carry macro reverse rings for a lot of different types of models of cameras, and we have various filter thread sizes, so you can use it with various types of lenses. To learn more about our macro reverse rings, click the link in the description below. It'll take you to a page with all the macro reverse rings we currently have to offer. Also, comment below if you have any questions about this video, anything I said in today's video, or if you're looking for a specific macro reverse combo, I can definitely help you out. Also, click right here to subscribe to our YouTube channel to get more videos just like this one. I'm Sean with Photo Deox, and thanks for watching.